The reason is that the lipoprotein molecules are important in supplying cholesterol to your nerves, in carrying fat-soluble vitamins, in fighting infections. But as it so happens, we don't want to learn from nature's mistakes. We want to do our own. And that's why we started this era of statins and a new drug, which is called PCSK9. And hopefully, I'll have time to get into that. Now, cholesterol is vitally important for us. If you ate no cholesterol and you became a complete vegan, your body will still make 3,000 milligrams of cholesterol every day. Three grams, 3,000 milligrams. There's a synthetic machinery that our body has to make cholesterol. And while it's making cholesterol, it also makes certain very important molecules that have biologic function. Now, statins prevent cholesterol production very high up in the chain of this cascade. So what we noticed is that isopentanyl is making us certain proteins called selenoproteins that give us antioxidant protection. It's converting vitamin K1 to K2 that prevents vascular calcification. CoQ10 is important because it helps muscle function. Dolicol, which is a cholesterol precursor, is helping us process the insulin receptor. And cholesterol itself is involved in giving the membrane the integrity that it needs. So I have been accused of being very nerdy. And that was quite nerdy. So how do I unpack this? How do I be redundant? So to reiterate, the isopentanyl is involved in creating certain antioxidative enzymes that prevent free radical damage that the isopentanyl converts K1 to K2 so that vascular calcification is prevented, that CoQ10 is involved in muscle function, that dolicol is processing the insulin receptor, and cholesterol itself <clears throat> is providing certain cholesterol-rich domains so that receptors can function. And here is an example of an insulin receptor. The insulin receptor sits in caviole which is a cholesterol-rich domain. And in that cholesterol-rich domain, the receptor functions well because it has the structural integrity. When you remove the cholesterol, the insulin receptor does not function well, as we shall see later. Now, we talked about dolicol as a precursor for cholesterol production, and dolicol is involved. It takes the protein manufacturing machinery of the body, and in that location where the insulin receptor is being made, it attaches a sugar residue so that the receptor can function well. So cholesterol is involved in every step of the way for processing of the insulin receptor. At the level of the membrane, it sits in a cholesterol-rich domain. The sugar residue is through dolicol, a cholesterol intermediate. And the pore through which, the channel through which the body takes in sugar, the GLUT4 channel, is also processed through the selenoproteins made by cholesterol. 